Hi, this is just going to be a single take second channel video. What you're seeing here is the through one of the uh, ocular ports of my Mantis Elite cam microscope. I'll link in a video I've done I've down done down below for this thing. And um, I thought that I like I was doing this the other day. I was shooting a teardown video, and I thought that it'd be great if I could just have this cam hooked up to a little Raspberry Pi or other little, uh, you know, computing thing hooked up to a Dropbox so that I can just hook up a button, push a single button, and it'd take a screen capture through my Mantis Elite microscope and save the image to my Dropbox so when I go back to my office and edit the video, um, I don't edit the videos here in the lab anymore, I take the SD cards and, and other stuff back, I thought I'd you know, be able to have that image file already there, ready to go, so I can just capture stuff through the Mantis Elite, because the Mantis Elite has these awesome optics. So I'll zoom in. So I've got my camcorder like, you know, four or five inches away from the hood of this thing, and you can see down on this board here, and it's just, it is absolutely brilliant. I can bring in uh, like more zoom. I've got a times four lens on the Mantis Elite now, and it's just like superb image, optical image quality, superb lighting and everything else. It's great for viewing chip numbers and stuff like that, right? So I could, I thought, you know, I can do it with my camcorder, but you just got to fiddle around getting it all set up. So I thought, well, that's a bit of a pain. So what I thought I'd do is, yep, there it is. You can actually see the, you can see the ports. There you go. Because it's stereoscopic, you can see the two ports there. And that's what I was going towards, you see? Isn't that neat? Anyway, you've, you've got to get close, otherwise it gets blurry and your field of view is not great. Anyway, by the way, look at that field of view, okay? This is the field of view I'm getting through the Mantis Elite, right? You've got the main uh, quad flat pack there, plus the chip on the side, and like there's a mounting post down there. This is inside uh, one of my multimeter uh, prototypes. And let's compare that with this. So what I've got here, this is the output of the camera built inside the Mantis Elite Cam, and I actually forgot how crap this camera is. They've got, they built one of the world's best stereo optical microscopes here with, you know, some of the world's best optics in it, and then just put a shitty HD webcam in it. And like, the quality is just like, everything's overexposed, and it's cropped. It's not near, like there's good a lot of it cropped. You'll have to look at the uh, LinkedIn video to see how much this is actually cropped. But it's blow all the highlights are blown out. This has got gain boost on. There's some there's noise on the image. It's pretty terrible. Anyway, um, what David did, David too, um, he uh, what what we did is had this uh, Latte Panda here that you've seen in a uh, previous video. It's a Windows 10 uh, computer. It was one of the first Windows 10 single board uh, computers available, and uh, it's just got a little Intel Atom uh, processor in it. And I thought, you know, we'd use that because easy to hook up to Dropbox and everything else. And uh, so uh, David wrote a nice little um, app here, and I'll show you the source code in a minute. But uh, basically, yeah, we've we've got this button here. And hopefully, um, so he wrote this application which uh, talks to, because there's actually a Raspberry Pi on, uh, sorry, there's an Arduino on here. It's Arduino compatible inside. So he's talking through the serial port of the, the Arduino serial port um, to interface with that. Um, so we've got a, just a little button hooked up and we can store a, uh, here we go. If we press it, hopefully, there we go. It's stored a PNG into our uh, Dropbox, fantastic, and of course the, well, the, oh, we, I don't know what image program I've got installed here, w whatever, anyway, so it all works hunky-dory, but the problem is, it's basically a useless tool because the HD camera inside this thing is just garbage, utter garbage, not any, not the same field of view, the, uh, there's not enough light from the regular uh, thing to get any decent thing, and the light, it's a different angle, so you can't see the chip numbers the same, and it's just, uh, it's crap. Anyway, so that is a real shame. Um, so it's a useless tool. I may as well just put my camcorder up, up to here and just, you know, spend 30 seconds just getting it all lined up and take a screen capture that way. So, 
there goes my idea of just having like a nice little, um, you know, embedded PC always there, just maybe doing some boink processing in the background. And when I want to come over, I just had a button and a LED. It, it does a it does a buzzer sound when it is uh, captured the uh, uh, PNG and uploaded a Dropbox. Anyway, that's just like so. Yeah, <laughs> we only realised how crap it was until he started doing it. Unfortunately, so he actually wrote this in on Visual Studio. So we actually had Visual Studio uh, running in the, uh, actually installed Visual Studio on this Latte Panda, which was a pain in the ass, wasn't it, David? Yeah. Yeah. This thing is slow. I it's think so he's, he's, he's traumatized by the Intel Atom processor. Anyway, there's the code for those playing along at home. It interfaces to the Micro Eye uh, software, which is a software that comes with uh, the Mantis Elite camera. Um, in there, and it's actually got uh, drivers, so it's uh, through the API, is it, David? Yeah, and to be clear, this is the, actually the, one of the first steps that they recommend you follow. Install Visual Studio on the, you know, the Latte Panda. That's what, what? they tell really? you to do. They, yeah. they tell you to install Visual Studio, yeah, and, it's, so, and it's traumatic. So I was just like, okay, <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, all right, anyway, so <laughs> we've got, like, gain, like auto, auto gain, gain boost and white balance and, every, like, everything auto gain set up. So, like, and they're just the colours not nearly the same as what you get through the optical port and it's a shame anyway so there's his code um for those playing along at home it didn't take him long at all because he's a software wizard um and yeah that was just oh 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 my mantis elite cam just fell it just fell oh lucky i got my protector on there oh just the weight of that Oh, anyway, <laughs> Benchies are probably set up at the moment. Um, so I've got the desoldering gun anywhere. Um, there, yeah, there's a, like a tension bar in the back that allows you to, you know, um, set the exact, um, you know, offset the weight of the head and stuff like that. So, yeah, unfortunately, that was a failed project. Um, but, yeah, it worked. <laughs> but, nah, it's just much better, much easier to simply dick around get the camera close enough like that and go in. So if you see, uh, you know, really bright and colourful uh, screen captures like that in future videos, you'll know where it comes from. It's just me putting the camcorder up to one of the optical eyepieces on that. Um, of course, I can use my Tagano microscope as well, which is uh, fantastic. Um, and, but I usually only do that for like video uh, type stuff. So, and, and this is better for viewing uh, chip numbers and stuff like that than the uh, Tagano. So anyway, Thought I'd show you that failed project. Eh. Catch you next time.